follow me and follow that, but if you got Zelle, Cash App, or got Venmo, follow me. I'm down on my appreciation. Let's hear it for Don Armand, everybody. Fuck yeah. Look up, Don. All right, well, do you guys want to hear some jokes from me before we get the hell out of here? Yeah? Yeah? Hell yeah. All right, Don, your time with the crowd. All right, let's give it up for Don Armand one more time, everybody. I am autistic. Yeah? <laughs> Real fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the support. <laughs> no, don't leave. Don't leave. You didn't leave earlier. You can't fucking leave now. Come on, Thrasher. Let's thrash the fuck through this material right now. <laughs> yeah. My dad was 48 when I was born. So how do you get an autistic baby? Dusty cum. Dusty <laughs> cum. When my dad came, it sounded like <laughs> All right, too much? <laughs> I don't know. It was like talcum powder, you know, baby powder getting squirted out of a bottle. Yeah, they did not use the fresh ingredients, that's what I'm saying. I'm a powder milk baby. <laughs> it's not the fresh ingredients. That's why the eyes didn't come out right. I'm a powder milk baby, you know? That's all right. Well, uh, my glasses are new. My glasses are new. That's your cue to clap. My glasses are new. Hell yeah. They are like my sisters, transitioning. Well, I have two trans sisters. If you're trying to be woke right now, this is not the fucking time for it. All right. I thought that guy was, that guy had the balls to give me the light right now, but he was just taking a picture. You can, tear, you can tag me at Derek D. Comedian on Instagram. <laughs> all right, well, all right. Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, <laughs> Zell, <laughs> PayPal, any of that shit works too. Yeah. Um, yeah, my sisters are trans. Transistors, I have enough to make a radio. Yeah? <laughs> we're doing our best right now. <laughs> this is what we're doing. God damn. All right, well, let me tell you some more. So I want to I wanna be real with you guys. It's not all totally worked out. But like, I had these two trans sisters growing up, right? They're both older than me. Four, seven years older than me, right? Well, I'm pretty sure about one of my, my oldest sister, I'm pretty sure about her being trans. Yeah, there were breadcrumbs. I could figure it out after the fact. We grew up in an extremely Christian household, so I gotta tell you, it wasn't obvious to me at first, right? Because you don't get exposed to that. Anyways, and I'm not sure if the other one jumped on the trans train, but, um, yeah, so I got these two trans sisters, and they had the gall, the fucking audacity, to make fun of me for being girly when we were kids. That's fucked up, in my opinion. All right, we'll try that again. So, <laughs> My sisters made so much fun of me for being girly when I was a kid. Well, now they're both women. <laughs> much better, right, Anthony? My first one was great. Yeah, I appreciate it, yeah. I don't know why, I mean, God bless you guys. I don't know why I'm seeking validation from these guys over here when these guys already love me. I fucking know you guys. It's all right, all right, well, you guys will like this. Everyone everyone in here will like this one. Everyone, all right, so if you guys didn't hear already, I'm autistic. <laughs> so I've never met a black girl named Africa before, but I've met lots named Asia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be laughing all quiet and shit like that. Then they introduced, see, you got up out of your chair, it's like you saw a magic trick. You're like, what the fuck? This guy's speaking truth to power right now. He the goddamn praise Jesus. Anyways, then they introduced me to their cousins in India and China. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Because <laughs> I've never read a Korean note named Mozambique. You know what the fuck I'm saying? Some Mongolian named Zimbabwe. <laughs> you see? <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> 
I used to be a substitute teacher. Thank you for not making any noise. I do it for the money. I do it for the money. Yeah. Not as difficult a job as I used to think it was. Now I just send a kid with a bathroom pass anywhere, anytime, for any reason. I'll send half the class to the bathroom if it makes my job easier. Okay, when I go to LBJ High, I will send half the class to the bathroom if it makes my job easier. Are you guys from around here? No? Okay, you're, you're from out of town. Where are you visiting from? I'm from Chicago. Chicago? Uh, Chicago, we got a Chicago, where else? What? Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky? Is that what I heard? Yeah. All right, well, shit, I mean, I was dealing with whatever this bass beat is, and then also that fan, I fucking heard it. <laughs> I want a little bit of credit right now, because I'm up here trying to be fun. Are you guys trying to leave? Are you trying to leave right now? No, I see this guy, he's sitting sideways, you know, he's like, I'm fucking red, I'm Usain Bolton in this bitch, you know? <laughs> All right, so I got kicked out of ACL <laughs> for trying to sneak in. I got, I got caught sneaking into ACL this last, this last October. So I snuck in through one of the staff entrances, right, you know? And I heard the word. Hey! Second hand is always louder than the first day. Hey! I'm like, all right. Well, I'll just keep on walking. You know, you can't look to the left or the right. You gotta gaslight these security people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you just gotta keep on going. But then I looked over my right shoulder and I saw a couple of orange vests coming after me. I'm like, oh shit. Am I about to OJ Simpson this right now? I'm referring to his less famous work in the NFL, everybody. Well, I think I'm gonna deep throw this mic and then fucking kill myself later tonight. Anyway, <laughs> so then I spied over my left shoulder another couple of orange vests, right? And so then, well, the panic took over, right? So I took off running, <laughs> you know, and I heard. We got the runner! All right, later on we have four runners right now. God bless you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, we got a runner! And I was like, I only thought that they said that shit in the movies, you know what I'm saying? What? It's alright, well God bless, I don't know what the fuck he said. I, I heard fucking Mike. Fucking Mike. Are you gonna fuck Mike later? Have a great time. Well, honestly, I'm glad they're gone. They didn't want to be here. It has nothing to do with skin tone. I'm, they just didn't want to be here. I'm glad that they're gone. <laughs> hey, happy Juneteenth, you guys. They're already fucking gone. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> All right, anyways. Um, mm. What else do I want to work on? I know. Gareth, this is inspired by you. You remember that night that I spent the night outside of uh, outside of the hostel and I got bitten up? Don't yeah? tell them about our gay sex, Derek. Oh, uh, well, uh, no, we wouldn't have done gay sex outdoors like that, you know? It's always behind closed doors, there's no ring cameras watching, nothing like that. Anyways, that's Gareth Fisk, everybody. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So I've been in uh, Austin for a little bit more than two years, about two years and three months now. And I've been doing comedy ever since I got here. It's been the most important thing to me. I even spent a night on the street when I was between places. And I was sleeping in this, I was sleeping on the sofa right outside of, uh, right outside of the hostel where I used to stay. And I got up in the morning and I had all these bites all over me. They were like tiny and they were red and they hurt like hell. And so I asked, so, so uh, Gareth picked me up the next day and I said, what is this? And he says, it's probably chiggers. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I said, what? He said, chiggers. And I was too shocked to respond because I didn't know how to deal with a bug being called that name. I said, what? He said, yeah, they're these tiny little bugs. They're like fleas. They bite you and they leave little red marks and it's very difficult, you know, it's, it's very painful. And so all I was trying to think of, you guys are going to love the end of this. I fucking promise you guys are going to love the end of this. Oh, she's giving me this shit. Why am I still playing to the audience who doesn't give a fuck about me? Everyone over here loves me. It's like, this is, like, th th this is a, a poll that, anyways, all right, so, anyways. So and then I said, okay, well, well so, so he told me what chiggers are, and I was like, well, I have to figure out how they got this name, right? And I was thinking, what racist cowboy back in the 1800s 
was trying to name these bugs. It's like Lyle and Kyle. They're you know cooking up beans, uh, cook, cooking up beans outside the. Well, I'll get off after this one, you guys. <laughs> and so Lyle's like, he's like, Kyle's like, oh, what's going on? Lyle's like, oh, these these fucking bugs, they're biting the shit out of me. Oh shit! It's like, yeah, these fucking chiggers. Like he like, <laughs> how'd you come up with that? He's like, well. They're small like the Chinese, but they're a pain in my ass like the Negroes. And that's how, that's how, all right, that's how we're ending the mic, everybody. That's all right. We're trying to work on some new material. We got what? one that walked in. Izara. Oh, we got one who walked in? Izara. What's his name? Izara. Izara, everybody? All right, well, let's hear it for, let's hear it for our last comic of the night. Make some noise for Izara, everybody. Give it up for Izara. Yeah. Uh -huh.